Now, some of you aren't going to believe this because it happened so quickly, but check this out. The Vatican hires an LGBT activist company to create and run their new internet news platform. I'm just going to read the first two paragraphs. It says, eyebrows are being raised following the announcement that a Vatican official with strong ties to LGBT activists has hired an openly homosexual digital marketing company to design and manage the Holy See's new internet news service. And then it says the company, Accenture, is famous worldwide for promoting the homosexual political agenda, winning awards for being the top gay-friendly employer, and producing videos proposing strategies for promoting LGBT rights throughout the world. Just last Wednesday... I posted a video of the Pope honoring a pro-abortion activist for her service and merit to society. As expected, when the news got out that many people were offended and the Pope was exposed as the prophesied man of sin, yet once again before the eyes of billions for doing that, the Vatican tried to spin the facts by claiming honoring this abortion activist didn't mean they agreed with her views, even though the official statement made regarding the Pope's placing the title of Commander of the Pontifical Equestrian Order of St. Gregory the Great upon that woman, and then stated openly that the honor is bestowed on those who have distinguished themselves in the public service or given support to the church for fighting evil, promoting good, and defending the weak and oppressed against injustice. But this woman attacks the weakest of the weak by going after innocent babies in the womb. Well, the truth is, for those of us that understand prophecy, we know just as Rome mixes truth with lies in their Catholic dogma, as the biblical definition of the word Babylon predicted, We see they mix truth with lies in their political statements as well, because that's just the nature of the beast across the board. And so this is par for the course for Rome whenever a pope sticks his foot in his mouth. They just spin it. The woman is an abortion activist where her waking hours are spent seven days a week doing all she can to promote the killing of children in society. And not even a week after honoring this woman for her satanic duties, the Pope is now hiring an LGBT activist to create and manage the Vatican's news website. And so I have to wonder, what spin will now be released by the synagogue of Satan to clean up the Pope's newest snafu where he's openly yoking in business with the homosexual community to build his new website? which he knows that in so doing, it's going to normalize yoking unequally for billions of souls that follow his lead. I am sure the spin doctrine on this one is not long in coming once all the watchmen around the world alert the people as to how boldly the man of sin is promoting and sanctifying the evils of the dying God of this world. Thank you for watching. God bless.